Charges in the battery, and then you just turn it on. There we go. This works here. Yeah. Hi guys. Uh, finally got my voice back. I'm sure you're glad to be. Uh, here are my dulcet tones again. Uh, this time I am going to do a overnighter in my local woods, and I'm hoping, touch wood, got some wood here. I'm going to uh, get my hot tent on the go, my um, light outdoors stove. So watch this space. I'm just going to clear the area, get it all set up. Right, bought this rechargeable solar panel. Uh, it can be charged with a phone socket, one uh, micro USB socket, and it blows up, put some air in it, switch it on. See, it's got a tester to let you know how much charge is in the battery, and then you just turn it on, and there we go. Lantern by Luminade. This is the Pack Light Max version. They do do a Halo version, but that's smaller. Um, this also has all different settings. That one's just a flashing one. So you've got the brightest, and then it dims down until it flashes, and then off. Uh, this light here means it's charging constantly all the time, unless you cover it up, like so, but that's good. Here we go. Okay, here comes the piece de resistance, light outdoors, portal stove. It's the titanium version, and it's the small one, not the XL. I've done a review on this already, feel free to check it out. This can be my heat source and cooking source for tonight, if I decide to. And I've got with me my DD hammock tarp. Um, it's the XL 4.5 by 3 meters, so I'm going to make a TP out of this.
Okay, I've got four posts out of dead wood and I'm just going to establish the TP shape where I can. I've got two tarts of me, not just the one. At the moment it looks like half of one. But when I get there, I've got it all set up. You can I'll give you a tour, see what it looks like. See, we've got a loose bit here. I'm going to try and cinch it down. Right, so, and secure it by using one of these. First, I don't want it going that way because it'll pull, if it rains, it'll pull in here. Anyway, it would be a good thing because I'll get water out there. What I want tonight, and it's over flat like that. Like so, use these, just open them up and then screw them tight. You've seen them before. I used them with my uh, modified Lavu. Come in pretty handy sometimes. It's getting quite windy now. I've checked. I can't see any widow, widow makers above me just yet, so I'll keep you posted. Here we go, a bit better.
try it a different way, see if it makes it more secure. It's better. Ta da! All done. Oh, my pyramid tent. Touch wood. It will keep me dry overnight if it rains, which it's due to rain tonight. Let me just show you. Got a longer side that side because I'm going to be sleeping with my head here going downhill because it's on a slight slant. I'm starting to run out of daylight here, but uh, yeah, I'll show you quickly. So this is what it looks like inside. This is where I'm going to be sleeping. Here. This is where I'm going to be setting up the titanium stove. I'm sorry, you can't really see much at the moment because I've got to get my light established. And uh, I'll get back to you. Bye for now. Hey. Turn this off. Hi guys. Uh, I'm now just about to start gathering firewood. And a couple of hiccups I had to sort out, but I managed to get most of it done. And as you can see behind me, it is now set up. I just need to get some firewood. There we go. As you can see, the light outdoors. Titanium stove is now ready to fire up. I've got it going through the roof. It's not touching any material for it to catch fire. This wood here, touch wood, touch wood. <laughs> oh God, everybody keeps using that term, don't they? Touch wood, touch wood, but hopefully I shouldn't have any problems. I'll find out within the first hour anyway whether there's going to be a problem with that. But by the looks of it, it looks good. It's all secure. Okay, firewood gathering. Let's do this. Okay, uh, I'm going to start prepping this wood here. I've got this bit of ash and it's fallen down and then uh, I shall be uh, finding other stuff to use. So you'll have to bear with and I'll be back sawing away, gathering some more firewood. So I'll catch up with you soon. EKA 21 inch combi saw. It's going through everything like butter. It's amazing what this thing can do. Comes with three three blades. You've got a bone saw blade. I, I took them two off because they keep rattling around inside this area here. But yeah, can't fault it.
Now I've got everything sorted out, let's turn this off. Let's get this uh, fire started. I've got some the kindling which you saw me cut up. And then I've got some dried stuff with me today because everything's wet. I have done some shavings just to get the spark on the go. And we should establish fire. This is natural tinder. It's all the fluffy stuff off the um, vine bush things that grow in my in my yard at work. You can see them dotted all over the place. I don't know the name of them. I'll find out at some point and let you guys know. But it's brilliant for tinder for fire starting. Just get my fire still. Bear with me a sec. One of my homemade ones, which I made. Right, let's get this started. She is burning. She's burning good. I'll just show you guys. There she be. Getting a nice good burn on. Got a nice bed of coals in there. There's certainly some heat coming off of it. Pretty toasty. It's all the way out there and out the top. Let's go have a look and see what smoke is coming out. I can feel a lot of heat coming out. As you can see. He's smoking. Probably can't see it that well. But it's definitely smoking. There we go, you can see it much better. Doesn't seem to be touching anything. From what I can see. Just the trees themselves. Let's go get some more firewood. Hi guys, uh, just getting some water on the boil. Let's have a look. In my zebra. Yeah, the steam's starting to come out of that, so that should be ready soon. got some wood dotted around I'll do some after dinner I just want to get some food right let's show you a selection of food for my stay here we have got hot pot got some pistachios in a bag 
We got a MRE pouch which I made myself. We got apple crumble and custard in that. And we got a breakfast uh, bar and some porridge for the morning. And then for refreshments for tonight, we have got, let me show you. We have got Shepherd Neem Ken, Kentish Strong Ale. This is supposedly really nice. I've had one already. Not tonight, but on a previous trip. Uh, it's 6.5%, so it's nice and strong. I prefer them nice and strong, otherwise it's pointless drinking it. I don't drink it for the taste. Uh, what else we got? We got a Radical Road 6.4% Triple Hopped Pale Ale. And it's by Stuart Brewing. This can be pretty tasty. And all of these are bought literally 200 yards from my house in a local store. So that is the food for tonight. I am, I am hoping to have touch wood, I'm touching wood, a dry night tonight. It looks like the moon's out at the moment, so that's a good sign. It was due to rain all night but for this area, but I've been lucky, very lucky indeed. I'm going to get a coffee, brewed, and then I'm going to start cooking dinner, so you might catch me. If not, I've seen a bit. Some noodles stashed in there. That was going to be my lunch, but it took a while to get settled. I never had time to have lunch, so I'm just going to skip lunch and have dinner. Come have a look at this and just show you. And here you can see the red area where that's where the main source of heat is. Amazing. If I turn this out and you'll be able to see more clearly. See? Yeah, 
Right, now I've got sorted. Let's do a bit of an introduction. Hi, I'm Chris. Uh, this is my channel, uh, Ember Bushcraft. It's a mixture of everything really. Anything to do with getting outside, enjoying a bit of alone time out in the woods, wherever, out in the field, back garden, out in the highlands, wherever I can get to go, just to spend a bit of time practicing skills, bushcraft skills, wild, wild camping skills, whatever I can get my hands on, I will try. And this is what my channel's about. It's about my ventures and my journeys through learning. And I hope everybody else gets to learn along with me. Um, I mean, early early forties, and uh, I work. I've got a fairly large family, and uh, I'm enjoying life at, at the moment. I've just had twins. <laughs> Believe it. I had a boy and a girl born. Uh, last April, and that's why you haven't seen me for so long because I uh, had to take time out to spend with my family. But I'm back at the moment because the twins are at a point where everything is good, it's where I can get to go out more than I was able to. Um, it won't be a lot because of the nature of wanting to spend time with my family, enjoying being with them. So enjoy what you do get to see. Uh, thanks for joining me. Um, spread the word, let everybody else know I'm about, if you want to, of course. But yeah, please, if you like or dislike this video, please do, and get others to subscribe as well. That'd be brilliant. Thanks very much, and uh, I'm gonna get back to uh, sorting out food and coffee so it's just a little introduction about myself i'll catch up with you in a little while cheers guys Oh, before I forget, just want to do a shout out to one particular person or channel who I started watching and he re-inspired me to get back out here again. If it wasn't for him, I'd still be uh, stuck at home. Um, well, not stuck at home, but just spending a lot more time at home doing all sorts but yeah this one person his name is Mike and he's part of TA Outdoors uh, he's inspired me after watching all of his his videos to get me back out again he's given me ideas of new kit he's given me ideas of how to do stuff he's really he's, he's a teacher basically like that. I know he says he's not skilled He's not a professional about doing anything, but just him being the way he is, is inspiring. Go check his channel out, TA Outdoors, and uh, enjoy, because his videos are really good. Um, right, these are MRE bags. That you can buy from Amazon and eBay. They're slightly smaller than the usual issue ones, but they can still hold a fair bit. Um, I bought about 20 of these because I was getting fed up forking out four or five quid for a meal um, and spending a fortune just on stuff that you can make yourself. So I bought these bags. They are zip, well, they're the sealable ones, and there's a flap here which you can, with an iron, you can create a proper seal all the way across there. Get the iron, heat treat that, 
and that is properly sealed so even if that comes open nothing can come out until you tear across across from this little groove here to that groove either side to tear across and you can get the food out uh, they're, not, they're really cheap and if you cook food whatever's left over just chuck in one of these and you got you can freeze them as long as they've been thoroughly cooked before you put them in uh, let them cool down before you seal them and then yeah you got your own prepared food a lot cheaper I have got in this one I have got apple crumble and custard Right, which one shall I have first? Do I have the IPA or the Kentish Strong Ale? Radical Road or Kentish Strong Ale? Ooh. I can't decide. Shall I let you decide? Nah, take too long. I'm gonna go for this one. Radical Road, let's have a look. See what it says. Uh, craft beer, Edinburgh, Scotland, Radical Road, 6.4%, triple hopped pale ale, grapefruit, marmalade, pine, bittersweet, brewed and bottled at Stuart Brewing. There we go. Let's crack this lid open. Oh. Before I forget, for an appetizer before bed, I've got a Spyside Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, 12 year old, ready to warm my cockles, as they say. The UK say warm cockles. This type of seafood, if any of you don't know what that is. You think of mussels, you think of limpets. Cockles are very similar. An English delicacy for all those who don't know. I've got my pistachios lightly toasted and slightly salted. I'll eat them either way, salted or unsalted. My favourite are salted though.
Cheers guys. I hope everyone had a good Christmas because this is being done, recorded in between Christmas and New Year. I think there's two days to New Year's Day. So this one's for you guys. Happy New Year and let's see what 2018 brings us. Cheers. It's really nice. Cool. Real strong flavour of grapefruit. Yeah, I can taste the marmalade as well. Triple hopped. Nice and strong. Just want to thank everyone for watching my videos if you get to see them all all the way through uh, thanks for supporting all your comments and hopefully I look forward to more comments in 2018 okay guys um, temperature seems to be dropping quite quickly the wind has died down a bit I'm thinking about going to bed now it is coming up 10 o'clock at night it's been a long day I had lots of ups and downs uh, especially with the titanium stove trying to get that lit that was a nightmare nightmare but I managed to get it sorted and hopefully tomorrow I'll get some breakfast and then I'll probably head home because I've got my twins waiting for me so I'll catch up with you bright and early in the morning thanks for following me and I'll see you in the morning Good night. Good morning guys and girls. Oh, that was an interesting night. Firstly, it started to rain about just after 11 o'clock. Stopped for a little while, then about quarter to one it started hammering down. I started to feel rain on my face. So Go. So I just had to batten down all the hatches, cinch everything up. Couldn't help that though. It was ex because of the hole at the top for the exhaust. Apart from that, this was the only patch here that actually got wet. But by four o'clock, I think this morning, it stopped raining and it's been drying out ever since. So uh, overall, it's been a, an okay night. A bit of a sore back, but don't always get get this when uh, I sleep out. Sorry about that. It's a plane going past. No, a helicopter going past. I've just got the fire lit. See? I just want to heat up some water, which is in there. 
and then uh, have some breakfast and then I'll uh, start closing down camp and heading home. But overall it's been a good night. I'll catch up you. Blah, blah, blah. Can't even find my voice. I'll catch up with you later on when I'm eating my breakfast. See you then.
great. Here we go, guys. Thanks for tagging along. I really appreciate it. Please like or dislike, whatever you choose. Love comments on comments or questions. Let us know if you want me to try something different. I will try it. Um, or if you think I'm doing something wrong or not quite right, let me know, please. I'm open to suggestions on how to improve. Like I said before, this is my journey through wilderness camping, wild camping, bushcraft skills, everything else. I'll catch up with you soon. Thanks again. Oh, it's been brilliant. Thank you very much. And I'll see you soon. Take care, guys. All the best. Go home, ta-da.